Hey, Matt here. Welcome to another sesh on the artist's way. This is day seven of week three. So last day of recovering our sense of power. So today's section on growth, we are going to double down on how important rest is when it comes to growth. <laughs> especially because growth can be sporadic and unpredictable and often very discouraging, especially when we don't see the tangible growth that we expect from all of this work that we're doing. But Julia says, very often a week of insights will be followed by a week of sluggishness. The morning pages will seem pointless. They are not. What you are learning to do, writing them, even when you are tired and they seem dull, is to rest on the page. I love that. This is very important. Marathon runners suggest you log 10 slow miles for every fast one. The same holds true for creativity. That said, let us, if you haven't already, jam on our morning pages. So often we think of this forward, expansive movement and neglect the inward, slowed rest. Growth requires this rest. It is what is needed to create that stillness that cultivates that intuitive alertness that allows us to be more open to receive the gifts of synchronicity, um, the gifts of, of any, everything of anger, of all of the things that we've visited this week, shame and criticism, they all hold gifts, next steps for us on our creative recovery. And to be able to rest allows us to see these gifts available in every moment from channels, especially outside of our own self will. So, I hope you are able to take a few extra sighs of relief and relaxation today as you review the reading in today's session. And in our creative exercise, we're going to practice cultivating this listening to our inner compass, that guttural knowing that helps us discern how to respond to whatever is here be it anger, synchronicity, shame, criticism, and the many other wondrous aspects that we will inevitably encounter along this epic journey of creative recovery. So kudos and accolades to you for showing up for yourself and doing the work that will no doubt recover a sense of power along your spiritual path towards higher creativity. So let me know what's good in the comments below or in our private activity feed on Intention Inspired, and I will see you tomorrow as we kick off week four and explore how to recover a sense of integrity. You are loved. You are creative to the core. You are a work of art. Peace, love, and growth.